Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, you know, I'll jump right into it here. One of the reasons why I like to pick on Miss Yana Hawking is because she's a dating expert. Now, uh, in the fact of dating, I think she is an expert because she seems to do a lot of dating. But as far as a person in regards to relationships, I think she's probably the worst people you could listen to. And that's why, because you've got a woman that is quickly approaching the age of 40. Uh, she's still single. She's still going up and hooking up and, and going chasing after the bad boys. And, and that in and of itself tells you everything you need to know. And, you know, all these dating coaches, if they're telling you how to get the perfect girl and how to go out and get, get women and, and to be really great at dating, that's one thing. But if they're saying, hey, here's how you get a good relationship and here's how you get a good girl and they're still single, then we got, we got a little bit of an argument. But Yana here, uh, she's actually jealous of another girl that's, uh, that, that has dated 15 men in 21 days. And, and here's why I bring this up, okay? Because if you're one of these 15 men, they have no interest in you. Now, maybe they want to sleep with you, okay? That's fine. Uh, and maybe for some of you guys, you go, hey, that's perfect. That's all I want from them. Okay, great. But if you're into a relationship, if you're doing the dating thing, if you're hoping to get a relationship, um, the odds of you this happening for you are getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. And what I find interesting, what I find interesting about all of this is women will say men are pigs. Men are, they're dirty pigs. All they do is use women. They just want to hook up with hot girls, sleep with them, and then dump them. So men are pigs. But also in the same to, uh, sense, almost in the same sentence, They'll say, well, you know what? We should be able to do the same thing as men. We should be able to go out and use men and just hook up with men and sleep with them because they're hot. And then we'll worry about settling down and being a girlfriend when we're 42 and no one else wants us. Well, if you call men pigs for doing that and then you turn around and want to be just like men and do it yourselves, doesn't that kind of make you a pig as well? Doesn't that make you kind of a bad person as well? Well, not according to Yana. So Yana says, uh, and again, she says, secret overseas Tinder trick. It's not. You just pay Tinder money and you can set your location anywhere and swipe. And I'll be honest, I've used this myself. I've used this myself because when I was traveling around the world and I was getting ready to head to, I don't know, Thailand or the Philippines or very, uh, Iceland and various other places, I'd set my location in, in a big city. I'd spend a, and you don't have to swipe. It just tells you if anybody liked you. And then you can go and read their profiles and you say, okay, and you know how many dates I went on in Iceland? One. You know how many dates I went on in Thailand? Like two. How many I went on in the Philippines? One. Because I talked to them and I got to know them a little bit. And I said, hey, you know something? We seem like we'd get along. I'm going to be here for 30 days. Are you free? Would you like to hang out for those 30 days? Maybe show me around the place. Maybe we can hang out, go get dinner, you know, have the kind of dating experience. But in 30 days, I'll be leaving. And the answer was yes. One in each location. Here, a woman sets herself and goes on 15 dates in 21 days. Now, what, <clears throat> was it to get to know these men? No, you can't get to know 15 men in 21 days. You can't really get to know two or three men in 21 days. So what was it for? Free whining and dining, taking her out, showing her around. She didn't have to do anything. It was just given to her. Couldn't she have done the same with one or two guys? Yes, but that wasn't it. See, she wanted to taste the smorgasbord. Now, what if we said this guy, right? This guy, he decided to go to New York City and he went on 15 dates with women in 21 days. Women would call him a pig. There's stories about that. If he tricked women into paying for his dinner or showing him around, he'd be called a pig. But when women do it, it's okay. So then if we say, well, women are pigs for doing it, they say, no, no, because men do it. It's complete double standards. So men are pigs for doing it, and women should be allowed to also do it because men do it, but women aren't pigs for doing it. It makes no sense. Ultimate way to get multiple dates while on holiday is uh, hiding in a Tinder secret feature, which it isn't. And author and Helen uh, Chick used it to her advantage. So it's an advantage to use 15 men for dating, says Yana. Is there anything better than a holiday fling? 
you're relaxed, the cocktails are flowing that he's paying for, and you're living your best life that he's paying for. And and again, you can argue with me, but all Yana's very big on making sure the men pay for the dates. I've read some of her stuff, unfortunately. She says, so why not spend a little time falling in love or in most cases, lust? She's putting it on in the table right there. 15 dates, 21 men, just be lustful, sleep with them, have your fun with them. But again, if a guy had had 15 hookups in 21 days with women, he's a pig. She said, I've had some wonderful holiday flings. There was the ultimate lad in London who shouted me uh, double gin and tonics at a bar that looked like it was straight out of Peaky Blinders and introduced me to a Notting Hill bottomless brunch tradition that I would very much like to be introduced to properly in Sydney. It was a glorious, lusty long weekend. Of course it was glorious. Why? He bought her alcohol. He bought her a bottomless brunch tradition. He, since she says it was lusty, she, uh, he slept with her and she, she, so what did she get? She got a free hookup, free breakfast, free alcohol. Of course she loved it. She said the ultimate holiday fling, however, was the groomsman at my friend's wedding in Italy. Good Lord, he looked like he belonged on the cover of Men's Health magazine. I was smitten. She just, again, straight out says he was hot. So I fell in love. We danced the night away and had a very joyous day by the pool at the recovery party. In fact, we even flew home together and pretended we were a married couple to score upgrades on the many flights it took to get back to Sydney. See, I love this because what she's doing is she's telling you how she and anybody that looks at her as a dating coach thinks. We pretended to get married so we could get free things. So you took advantage of other people. You took advantage of businesses. Now you can say, well, pff, businesses take care advantage of us, so why not? That's fine, but understand that this, this is her modus operandi. This is the way she sees the, the world is give me everything. Hot guy, alcohol, uh, who paid for the flight? I'd really love to know that. Uh, sadly, uh-oh, it didn't work out. Shocking. Where is it? I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. Sadly, just like many holiday flings, the spark kind of died out when we got back to Sydney. Gone was drinking Aperol Spritz, looking uh, the Amalfi uh, look overlooking the Amalfi Coast, and the many adventures that came along with trying to work out how to order a spag bowl and two vinos in Italian. Sigh. They were replaced with vodka sodas at the Royal and bland conversations that made it abundantly clear we had nothing, absolutely nothing in common. So at no point did she really care what he was like because she could have found out that they had nothing in common before they flew home, but he was hot and he was taking her out for alcohol and banging her probably. And then she got home and she said, oh, and more alcohol. Do you think she's buying any of these drinks? Of course not. So she's with a hot guy that's buying her all these drinks and she's having her fun. And then when it comes down to finding out if they actually have anything common, no, nothing at all. But remember, this is the entitlement that women think. Now, and again, reverse all this stuff. This guy goes and buys alcohol and pretty much keeps a woman drunk the whole time he's with her so he can sleep with her. And then when they get home and it's time to be serious, he decides he has nothing in common with her and bounces. Women would call him a pig, an a-hole. They'd say he's a horrible human being. But when she does it, it's okay, you see. He was a gym bunny. Okay, so he had a great body too, whose perfect date was a workout followed by a protein shake. And I, as an arts lover, I would much prefer checking out a new art gallery or, uh, or play and sipping on a martini or two. More alcohol. Nevertheless, I got the best memories and I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. No regrets. Do you see the double standard here? And a lot of times people read these articles and they say, well, I don't see any problem with any of this. But when you start drilling it down and realize that basically she's admitted to traveling, sleeping with lots of guys, being drunk the whole time on alcohol that they, they bought her. And then the minute it comes down to being in the real world and maybe dating somebody, she's like, no, this doesn't work out for me. Yet she calls herself a dating coach. Follow her example, everyone. And, and women are, and that's the problem with this. Women are following this example. So understand when you're going on a date and you paid for this and maybe you hooked up a couple times and you seem to really have something in common and then all of a sudden she ghosts, 
She lost interest in you. Maybe she found you boring. Maybe you decided to stop paying for everything. Maybe she'd slept with you a couple times and eh, figured out maybe you're not her type or whatever. But again, it's okay when women do it, but men are pigs. So when my kind of sorted dating podcast guest this week, influencer, again, influencer, and author Helen Chick shared with me a very special dating hack, not a hack, she does before going on holidays that ensures she has men lined up and ready for dates when she gets there. Well, I was hooked. Now, why is it so important to have men lined up as a woman, have men lined up for dates? Oh, will you show me around? Oh, would you buy me dinner while we're on our date? How about some drinks afterward? Why don't you get us a hotel room and we can hook up and uh, spend the night? That's a free hotel room for her. Helen was explaining that she once went on 15 different dates over a three-week holiday in New York. Yep, 15 different men in 21 days. Stunning and brave. First of all, I tip my hat to you, Helen. That is impressive. And secondly, I bet you are wondering how the heck she did it. Okay. Yes, you can pay for the Tinder upgrade. You can swipe anywhere. You can set up the dates ahead of time. Then when you show up, so it's impressive that a woman can get 21 men or uh, uh, 15 men in 21 dates to take her out. Not at all. She's not an unattractive woman. But but why? Why would somebody ho hook up with 15 different guys in 21 days? I'm not going to call him dad. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Because it's free. Everything's free. And then if she finds she's attracted to him, she can sleep with him and then ghost him. But again, imagine if a man did this. Well, it turns out, uh, anyway, yeah, you can date, pay for Tinder upgrade service. So a few weeks before you choof off overseas, you change your location on the, and the de destination you will be going and get swiping. That way you've already matched with blokes you might fancy while on your holiday and get the small talk out of the way. By the time you get off the plane, you're already set up with each and every one of them. What a serious time-saving hack. What a great way to just chew through men as quickly as possible. The extra bonuses, then you, you can then use them as your own personal tour guide. Let's be honest. Locals always know where the best bars, restaurants. Uh, so, so you can, you, they're your own personal tour guide. They know where the best bars are to buy you drinks. They know where the best restaurants are to take you to dinner. They know where the best adventures are to take you on. A, because you know men pay for the, the dates. But Yana and this other girl not paying for the dates. So what are you? You're a wallet. So why the heck not go check out these places with someone you want to swoon over? So they pay for things. And if you find them attractive, you get to sleep with 15, 15 men in 21 days. But I'm a dating expert, everybody. And what, what ends up happening? She gets a free ride and, and another dozen notches on her belt. And all those guys are out some money and maybe a quick hookup. And maybe for some of you guys, you say that's great. But for the guys that are trying to date, that are trying to find somebody interesting, that are trying to find a relationship, Forget it. This is happening more and more and more. I've done the videos on, on uh, uh, the, the Tinder dates that something like, I don't remember now, it was somewhere between one third and two thirds, somewhere around there. But even if it's a third of women, just go out on dates for the free dinners. They're not even interested in the guys. I could probably look it up. I should have looked it up for this video, but I've done videos on it before. They're just, they're just literally using men. But when men use women, we're pigs. She says, uh, with borders now open and lockdown uh, spent being far too single for my liking, I'm ready to let my hair down a little and just have some fun again, as if all she's ever done is not had fun for the last 10 years. So with my friend's wedding in Spain fast approaching, I plan to use this dating hack myself. Yes, it is time to find uh, myself a uh, Javier Bardem to have my own very own lucky Christina Barcelona moment. Bring it on. So I need to find somebody that's going to pay for my dates. And, and if they're hot, I'm going to sleep with them. But you know something? This is from, this is by Yana again. I've been single for six years because I keep making mistakes or keep making the same mistake, she says. This one big mistake. Now, this article, I don't know if they have a date on this. Let me see. October 10th, 21. So this is right during the heart of the lockdowns. Yet here she is reflecting on making these mistakes. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but Yana couldn't figure out why her relationships keep ending in disaster until this moment. So if she's, do, if she's dating 
and she's living her best life and she's a great dating coach and she's got this all figured out, why does she call it a disaster? Why does she keep saying it ends in disaster? Because she keeps looking for bad boys that are gonna pay her way for everything. And the minute she gets back into the real world, eh, they're boring, they're disappointing. I'm not drunk anymore and so he's not as interesting or as hot or as what, or he keeps wanting to go to the gym while I drink martinis and everything else. And, and this whole article, I'm not gonna read it again. This is from uh, news.com.au. Because remember, she's a dating coach. She, you read through this and she's like, well, she keeps going. I mean, after years of going down, up and down the relationship ladder and kind of sort of relationships, I discovered a very similar pattern. The blokes I were dating were bad blokes, like serious duds. But they were hot or they'd buy her dinners or she just found them attractive and just wanted to sleep with them. This is a dating coach. I don't know. I don't know. But And, and I'm not just picking on Yana. The only reason I, I specifically read Yana's stuff is is because she's doing what many, many women are doing today. The only difference is she writes about it, so I can use it as an example. I can't ask Susie that works down at the local pub as a bartender if she does the same thing. But, but they, they all are. So guys, it, it is the best time in the world for hookup culture. All you have to do is buy a dinner, maybe a couple of drinks. If she finds you hot, she'll sleep with you, and you can walk away scot-free. It is the best deal for guys that just want to date uh, and have a little bit of fun. And and then when, when everybody wants to settle down and, and find spouses, a lot of the women are finding out it's not working out so well for them. Guys don't seem to be doing too bad, although many of the guys that are able to do this are deciding not to settle down at all because they're like, hey, I just buy dinner and a couple of drinks and, and I can hook up with these girls. So why would I get married and have her take half my stuff or have her redecorate my house or have her make decisions for me? when I'm really getting most of what I want from a woman anyway, which is an evening of entertainment, a little better bedroom fun, and then I get to move on. So uh, women are their own worst enemies. I can put that in every one of these videos. All right, for those of you on YouTube, make sure to jump over and join me on betterbachelor.locals.com or Rumble at the end of the videos. I do the dating profiles of the day, which I will be doing again, except I can't do them on YouTube. Mm -hmm.